Generic greetings. We've been focusing on interesting designs as of late, and I do stress interesting over uh, useful, efficient, or good. Uh, it's like I say, I've been focusing on things that are different and uh, varied and fun. That's obviously the aim of the game. However, there's been a common theme as of late. When we did the airship that picked up buildings and dropped them on other buildings airship, it uh, was only effective in very rare edge cases, but it used grappling hooks. And then we made a couple of different designs and then settled on the Leaper, which was a very fast ground vessel that could run towards an airship, sort of jump up because of uh, it's got suspendium all over it, and then it would be able to latch onto an airship and then swing underneath and damage it. That was a bit more interesting, but again, the theme was grappling hooks, and there's been a lot of suggestions to have like a two-part build where one of them would be like I say an airship with grappling hooks and the other one will be a fairly heavily armed uh, either uh, ground a vessel or a structure and we use the grappling hooks to pick it up and move it along. Sadly, I don't think that's possible because grappling hooks are a weapon and you can't target your own stuff and I've never seen grappling hooks hook onto stuff. I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying I haven't seen it. Um, but also that's uh, not great because uh, you have to hit with them and they can snap and such. But we could lift things and move them around and we have done this previously in this we have previous if we go over to his design and fight and to uh, the landship editor we can go over to uh, open design and we're going to open the legacy folder and we're going to load the liftington um now this thing is essentially a bridging vessel and the idea is if we have a ravine this would drive forward and then the vehicles would go over the top. The problem with it is that it doesn't work and the reason it doesn't work are many actually, there's many reasons. Uh, first and foremost there's no slopes, at least there wasn't when we built it so it, things would just crash into it and break it. Secondly when you order things across they don't go on top of it, it doesn't class that as a legitimate place to go. They, when you move stuff, order things to move, it follows the contours of the land so it doesn't work. I'm not saying it doesn't drive over the top things can do that if they're in the way it will always try so if the say if it goes down like this it will always try to move down it will always try to get there but if it happens to ram across here then it's no problem uh, thirdly as i said it uh, would ram and break this uh, bit here and four because it's not very heavy if you drop a pin around there it would snap in half uh, so all of that concludes that uh, well we can conclude that it's fairly useless however we can evolve this and we can change it up so we follow the same idea but we have a different execution. Now this isn't a so, like solely um, been sort of distilled in my mind, it's actually been what a couple of people suggested and uh, tweeted with and actually been a couple of videos where people have shown me uh, different designs so uh, credit where credit's due there so thank you very much if you're one of the ones that sent that in. But um, if we go over to Airship Editor, a couple of designs I've seen, uh, uh, we've got like, for example, a quite common one is where we have like a sort of gondola underneath. So it does this, for example, uh, where you can scoop stuff up and move it along. That's pretty good. That is very good indeed, actually. Um, and you can do it on either side. So you can have two either side and then you can drop the, like, the vehicles off. You can have it on the back so you can sort of reverse into it and then go forward on the front so you can scoop it up. And it means it's quickly, it's quick to drop off there. So there's many, many ways of doing this. However, um, I'm going to try and, like say, follow up with what we've just seen there with that bridging vehicle. And instead of it being a vessel, a, a ground vehicle, it's going to be an airship. And the problem with that is that it's getting stuff in it. And, like I say, if we made a gondola, that's a pretty good thing. But it has one, well, it has two major downsides. The first is that if you make your gondola like so and your airship is on the top there, the maximum thing you can fit in is the size of that. There's your first downside. Second downside is if that breaks, the whole thing drops off and you've just lost your cargo, which is generally not considered to be optimal in um, any scenario whatsoever. Uh, you could, if you wanted, uh, say remove all of this, like that, right? And you have your little gondola at the front there, or actually your little scoop, and then you build your airship back here. Problem with that is it's stupidly long, and once again, you are really limited by the size of this. However, what if we made a top and a slope on both sides, if need be, and build a fairly slim airship underneath? That is what we're going to attempt, <laughs> by the way, today's beverage is. <sighs> Lemon tea to try and soothe my throat that hurts a lot. So... Let's go over to lift and we want to see what sort of um, system we've got to lift with. So we've got this, which is the uh, the large um, 
suspendium chambers that will give us decent lift again the problem with that though is that they do have um, the chimneys coming out the top not that that's a big problem you understand because we can probably build over the top of it let me go over to our shapes and decoration and use filler blocks you can see that actually there's only these bits that need to uh, have the gap in it so that's not really much of a problem is it so we're going to place uh, two of those in uh, we're going to place i think a oh actually what can we place in there if we go to resources and place a coal storage in here uh, actually there would be better and then on the top there we could probably place a uh, quarters that is not unreasonable we will place to the left and right of this we'll need to place well we need some way of moving this thing for a start and I think we will go for another coal store there and another um, set of crew up there because when we consider what we're gonna uh, the other things we, uh, we should be about right and we'll put that in there and um, we're gonna have a oh what do we want to have actually uh, we want a we want somewhere to put fires out, that's for sure, because at the moment we don't have it. Um, we will place a, a fire door. No, we don't need a fire door. I don't think we just a fire extinguisher would be sufficient. But in terms of propulsion, we're going to go with a large propeller. And then once again, you can see that we do get to the end there, and we can build further if we do so desire. However, I think it's probably best if we... Actually, no, we'll probably build further along from there. Oh, no, we can't build further along there because nothing's going to be connected. So that is the end. That is as far as we go, really. And we'll probably place a little lip there to stop things going over. And these two bits here will probably put the supply hatches that we'll need, but we'll see. In terms of length, I mean, we could make it any length we want, but let's uh, measure it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's have it 20. Actually, no, we don't need it 20 long. I don't even know what we're going to be carrying, to be fair. Um, but that will hopefully do. Uh, speed, 185 kilometers an hour. Very good. We do need to have a bridge in here. Um, and we'll actually put a bridge lower down, to be honest with you. Having a bridge lower down, uh, is it a good idea? Perhaps not. Maybe a bridge in the middle. Because you don't want it to be lower down because it might just crunch into the ground and break. Um, so, we'll put it there. We have to have... Technically, we have to have a weapon. Um, and that's going to give us some issues because we don't really have a place to put it, do we? Um, oh, we do actually. <laughs> right, hang on. Uh, what I was going to do is place a weapon... On the front, but then it would mean that there's a gap in here. It wouldn't really matter too much, but we don't need to do that because we now have sponsons, don't we? So, uh, sponsons, light sponson. We can place a sponson there if we need to. That is absolutely fine. That can go in there. We will place a. Ooh, what can go there? Um, well, we need resources and the ammo store there problem is we can't get there and there's no way up so we'll probably have to creep this forward a little bit and then use some um what do we need it'll just be standard structural corridor or ladder and then there we are and that is fine we do need some supply hatches so we'll go over to Resources and steel supply hatches eight. We need ten so we'll place two steel supply hatches I don't know what we're going to be making this out of currently. It's reinforced wood uh, Reinforced wooden armor. I think uh, no, it's not. It's actually wooden armor um, Quite frankly steel armor That's fast enough and a good service ceiling, so that's fine. So what we're gonna do is uh, We need to remove that and we need to start sloping this down. So we'll go over to shapes and decoration. We're going to go over to the slope. And we'll go for the 2 by one And we'll slope it down to there. And then basically just fill the rest in. So that is our point, And that's where things will drive on it. Now I'm tempted, very tempted, to place another row here. But that would drop the service ceiling fairly dramatically. Although that would give us a nice little buffer. Um, You know what? I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. I'm also thinking, can we get away with a with a straight wedge, with a with like that? Would that work? And with a really sharp nose, I have a feeling that it would bottom out some of the other vehicles. So we're not going to do that. At the back, then we need to stop this thing crashing through the end. I will place a um. 
a slope in there and then go up like so. And that, if we go to the outside, is our design. Um, you can see that it's quite expensive. <laughs> and uh, it's got a bit of a wedge to it, hasn't it? But hopefully it will function. So we're going to rename it. No, we're not we're actually going to place that for some reason. Uh, we are going to rename it, and it's currently called the Antediluvian. Um, going off our previous... Um, Previous naming convention of the naming after cities. We'll call it the... Um, call it the Sunderland. Okay. Save design. And save. We'll leave that and we will try this thing out. I'm going to keep going back in and out until we get a decent bit of terrain. Now that's not ideal, but it's also not terrible. Uh, keep. We'll try a couple more. There we go, perfect. So you can see that this terrain is not ideal. If we have a ground vessel, going up and down here is going to be um, a bit treacherous for it. It could bottom out, it could break stuff. Um, certainly if it's of a large size, it would probably scrape the belly, uh, well, one side or the other as it's going through that. Uh, and even some smaller vessels just wouldn't be able to get through. But it's not it's not amazingly uh, difficult. Um but it's good enough for our testing. Speaking of testing, because of that, we are going to place the really um, quite, we're going to call it a resource efficient uh, <laughs> ground defense there, which is 100 and odd uh, generic units of currency, 195. And we are going to then massively overspend by adding an airship. I want to say the uh, Sunderland. I'm going to place the Sunderland uh, probably back there. That should be fine. And then we need to add the land ship. And we are bringing out of retirement the Mini Tankington. So we have a Mini Tankington. There it is. This thing is fairly cool. So the idea is that we start. We probably can't ram this into there, but we can probably save that ram to there. But let's see. We'll move that to there. And we'll move that to there. And we will start the fight. So we're immediately firing out, which is cool. We're going to say ram. I'm going to say ram down to there. So it will crush that bit of land, uh, that little the tree rather. And it's now there. This one will say ram and we'll ram to there. And it should drive on top. And as you can see, because even though these chimneys are here, there's not enough gap for it to fall down. Walkers might have a bit more of a problem, but uh, we don't. And now what we're going to do is order this to move and see if it works. <gasps> it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are now keeping this mid-air. We will say this, move to there, and... Oh, that's a problem. Straight away, you can see that actually what's happened there is that this is uh, pulling back because I don't think the traction it gets is... Uh, simulated for what it's... I think it's based on the ground. Because when I say move there, you can see there it's trying to get to there. So I don't think that is uh, calculated correctly, that. But the problem is that it's trying to ram through that and we don't have the power to like move it out of the way. However, if we order them both together, it might work. It does work. It does work! And it moves it and it works. I didn't expect this to be as useful as it is. And we're actually running out of ammo. Um, that's a problem. We're going to put it on the aimed fire. And why, why? I don't know why it's moving up. Um, I'm guessing we're just out of orders, right? You ram to there, go. And oh, see that? It actually accelerated faster. Um, couple of things of note straight away. I think that uh, because of the way that this is bouncing up and down on top of this, that could cause a problem. That could cause a bit of a problem because if it crushes this and starts cutting into the deck, that's not ideal, is it? Um, second problem, um, this is taking a hell of a beating, although nothing has happened to it yet. Uh, so we could either basically just make the deck extra thick on the top there. Um, and we can also make it a bit bigger at the back. But that's obviously limiting the size of thing we can fit on there. But so far, it's carrying what we needed to carry. Uh, we will say, once again, ram down to... Actually, ram over to there because I have a plan. Ram over to there. You can see that um, the little mini Tankington has... Uh, well, I don't know why I've added little to that. It's already a mini, so I don't really need to clarify that. Anyway, um, it, it um, has got much better acceleration, but overall speed, I think this one just has it. So what we're going to do is say that one ram, and I'm going to say ram to there, and hopefully when it goes off, it will uh, have a bit of a leap off and land on top. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. And we can now see that um, 
Well, we can't do anything because this mini tankington has the thing on the top and the arc fire is terrible. But um, basically, this works. Oh, also, one thing about this wedge, um, it does come in very handy when you need to. There you go. Um, and yes, to answer the question, if we go, I think we've safely said we've won that. If we go over to Airship Editor, open the design of the Sunderland, if we wanted to, yes, we could go over to Weapons, and we could go down to the Cowcatcher Ram and place a Cowcatcher Ram on the front of that. There's no reason why we can't, and to be fair, we probably will. Sport, we're not going to alter the design yet, we need to do some more testing. We're going to go to, uh, once again, Combat, and uh, keep uh, loading that until we get a piece of terrain that's like that, that's fine. I uh, will say, uh, we'll say, why not a bit of, a bit of, a bit of a storm? And we're going to say airship, Sunderland. Put the Sunderland there. See, there you go. <laughs> Getting through that would be pretty much impossible. Um, but this time, we're going to say land ship. And what have we got? We got the harpoon walkers. Uh, they would probably sit on there fine. Um, the encroacher. <clears throat> what do you think? What do you think? Do you reckon it'll work? I think you might be surprised here. Building Black Citadel. There. And then I press escape at the wrong moment because I'm an idiot. Oh, actually it's get it's got us a better um a better map though for this. That's fine. So, building Black Citadel once again. And on top of that. Landship. The encroacher. Uh, there. Why not? Airship. Sunderland. There. Start the fight. This one, hold fire. This one, hold fire. Because they'll probably destroy it anyway. We're going to ram with the Sunderland down to the bottom. Like so. Just to crush that. And then this. Ram to there. Uh, okay, not entirely what I expected. Uh, it's not calculated the tracks. There we go, that's better. Um, right, so that one, ground. Okay, move to there. No, I have to say ram. See, when you order the movement, it, it, always, it follows the contours of the land. It doesn't follow what it might uh, park on. And... Okay, something's up there. Um, it doesn't function with two tracks, I think. Let me try that again. <sighs> okay. So. Uh, building Black Citadel once more. Um, and the Sunderland. No. Uh... There's a nice place to be. And land ship, we're going to place... Again, that's double. I think it's the... I think it's double... Uh, the double tracks, it's a uh, problem. There's a flame tankington. That's a fairly substantial piece of kit. So we'll start that. We'll say ramp to there. It should just go straight on top of it. Which it does exactly. Look at that. No problem whatsoever. This thing doesn't give a single solitary uh, hoot about it so it is happily lifting that up and that works the problem oh is getting struck by lightning going down you can see it's it's rocking up and down and I think eventually if we do it too sharply that that'll crush the deck but anyway we'll move further down uh, we're just seeing if this we're gonna see if it does do that no that's fine that seems to function so ram and there and oh there we go there's a problem so it's actually faster than me. Although when it goes off, we will speed up, I think. Yes, we will. Right. So that's a problem. But that's an that's a that's a problem that we just can't solve because it's inherent with the physics and the way the game does things. Um it just won't work that way. So we'll ground the ship. We're gonna ram back to there. And we're gonna go back on top. At least it goes back up. That's fine. Uh, we'll say move up to there and there we are. Even if I say ram forward it's not gonna work. Ramp to there. No. And then if we say ramp to there, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. If we order this one first, it sort of works. And if we do it in stages, it will work a bit better. And we'll say ramp to there. That slowly slides along. But as I said, it's just a problem that's sort of inherent 
with um, the design of the thing. And, oh God, that's not going to be good. No, no, we're all right. We're all right. And we'll say ram. And we'll say ram to there this time. And that one can also do the same. And I don't know why. It tries to go up. Um, but there we are. So more speed would be uh, acceptable. That would sort of fix that uh, to a certain degree. And this one, we're just going to say ram to there. And uh, this thing's not going to have a good time. <laughs> brilliant 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 okay um what can i do to fix this uh thicker top bit bit big bit bigger on the back um but you know what for a first attempt i don't think it's too bad at all as i said it's an evolution of uh it's basically the the bridging thing we had previously um but we had it so uh, it's a bridging that we had previously, but it's it flies now. Uh, another another um, thing I would try is I would have, I would remove this. I would move this thing here. I would uh, have it so it would be slope on the front and back, and then ooh, probably actually, mm, I don't know about that. Uh, I'd probably have a little bit of a gap at the back, so we'd have one small propeller, and or or we could have a. Um, the engine that pops out the bottom, the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. The the, the, the sort of uh, separate hanging engine that's really weak. But have those, and then when there's a big gap to be bridged, you would basically just fly that into it, and then just say land. And it would it would be basically be a wedge that you've just moved into it. So it functions as, uh, functions just like that um, bridging vessel, but it can fly, so it's uh, just easier to manoeuvre. And, um, yeah, we could do it that way, but that's that's one solution. The other one is just to make it longer. You could just make it infinitely longer, really. Um, well, that'd have to be this way, you understand. And then that would be able to carry more stuff. So there's many ways of doing it. I so the gondola underneath, I quite like. This one, um, yeah, it has its purpose as well. Also, maybe a little uh, a ramp here to stop things going over. I think that'll be the next thing. But I just want to try one more thing. I'm going to go over to landship and anything with two sets of tracks is what I'm looking for. Um... That'll be fine. Um, building. And I'm just going to place it in there. It doesn't really matter. And we'll start the fight. And actually what we want to do is start the fight. Pause it. Say don't fire and don't fire. And yeah, there's a plane out. To be fair, that plane's probably going to destroy it before anything else. We'll say that one. Oh, wow. Is that only got a bridge? Oh, it's only got a bridge. Sorry, it's only got a... Um, it hasn't got a bridge. It's got the... The little command center, which is terrible. Uh, ram to there. Yeah, it doesn't like... It's something to do with these double tracks. Okay, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. So, we're going to go up to Airship Editor. Open design. I'm not going to focus too much on uh, beefing this up yet. Um, perhaps... Uh, the problem with that, though, is it's... Um, making it longer. But I don't really mind that. There is a case of uh, for saying remove some of this filler block because of the weight. Um, remove that, for example. Although we want the double thickness there. And then this void we could fill with uh, struts because they're half the weight. Hmm. It's uh, service ceiling 265 for that. And if we have all of that, it's 252. It's much of a muchness, really. There's no point. Okay, so we'll have it like that then. Um, we will want to raise that up to there and do that. And then we want to have shapes. Probably a one by one slope is fine. And that. Save the design. Oh, sorry. Save the design as the... We will version 2 that. It's not strictly a massive V2, but... I mean, yeah. I don't want to have to uh, undo what I've just done to fix it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Um, we'll go to... Uh, actually, we'll go to... Nice dawn fight. No. Fog. No. 
night. No, you can't see it. Nah, rain, fine. Okay, so we'll go for um, airship once again. Sunland version 2. Make sure we pick the version 2 there. We'll place it about there. We'll add a land ship of... What should we put in? Um, that's not too bad because it's boarding as well as... Um, boarding as well as um, some melee stuff. So, and then building... And actually, yeah, it's just a test. No, obviously, ov it, it is it is very obvious to, I would assume, myself and everybody watching that um, this is an unfair fight. And if it was totally pointed, 4,000 versus this, we're going to lose because this is, only has one purpose and it is very limited. Although, getting that past that, this is the perfect example of when it is needed and pretty much the only example. So that is going to uh, ram up to there, and it will easily be able to get over that little uh, bl block that we've put in, but that might help us later on, but we'll see. We're not going to lift this up too much, but just to about there. The problem, I think, is that this that thing above us is really, really quick. So we'll say move to there, and we'll see. And it is very quick, but we can, as I said, do our um, little sort of shuffle there so we issue the orders on the bottom one first and we only issue it to a certain point and then we say move to there and it's uh, moving along quite nicely um we've just was a, has a bit just fallen off oh yes it's actually chipping away at this so that ramp is not that great in all situations but anyway we'll move to there and we are slowly moving in and this is the point where a vessel that's 2,000 and only has one gun has suddenly become totally invaluable if you were doing this in the campaign and needed it because <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to get past that and we would have lost because of it. Um, whereas now, we can happily scoot across the mountain. And also, we are damaging uh, things as we do this, but it's uh, not a big problem. Uh, but we're about to get into a point where we can drop this thing off and we're going to go to there and say go to there and then... <laughs> we are about to make this guy's life a bit of a misery. Oh, uh, not as not as miserable as I expected. Um, we're going to flip round to there then, and okay, um, we we've taught. <laughs> uh, right, go, just go to there, please. Um, you can move back over as well, unless you want to get rammed. Right. Um. We've also reversed into it, which is very strange. And now we're sawing it up. And I think we can safely say that that's that thing dead. We can also initiate boarding actions as well. Um, there's all of our borders and the spiders and everything else. But that is a victory. And I think that, I think we can mark down as great success. I think it is a great success. We achieved exactly what we set out to do. We wanted a airship that could carry something and would be mm, not limited by space underneath. In a like certainly vertically, we could have something that's you know 80 feet tall. It would it would happily fit in here. Um, it's just limited by this thing on the back. We could, if we want to, get rid of that, or we could extend it further, uh, or we could do what I mentioned before: is remove this and put another slope either side, and then. Uh, bridging say this would be actually possible because you'd probably put it in there it would slope up to there along and then slope down and then that would mean that you'd be able to get over the top so as a test i think successful as an overall idea and design not so successful because the idea is to get something into melee or get it over an or an area where in reality you could just you could accomplish the same mission with either airships or striders or planes or just lots of gun so um yeah it's not good in that regard but um it has been fun and uh if we've done that then at least we've achieved uh, the primary goal if you've got any comments uh, or ideas suggestions etc for designs and things we should make then by all means let me know in the comments thanks very much for all the previous ones that you've sent in and for the people who've uh, posted videos and uh, tweeted me and all that sort of thing really appreciate it and, uh gets the uh, creative juices flowing and uh, it's good to see other people's design as well either way hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings.